In this clip, we'll learn to modify a list in SharePoint with full access to all the features and functionality of InfoPath 2010. We first have to have a list to modify, though, so let's look at a couple ways lists get created. Beginning here in the Backstage view, with the New category selected on the left, we can see that InfoPath 2010 includes two new template options for integrating with SharePoint. These make it easy to get started. For instance, here with the SharePoint list template selected, we'll click Design Form. The process of creating a SharePoint list starts with the Data Connection Wizard, which will walk us through the steps to create the data connection that the new list will use. First, we enter the location of the SharePoint site where our list will go. Then choose the option to create a new SharePoint list and give it a name. And lastly, review the settings for creating our list, accepting the default settings here, and clicking Finish. A new form is created based on the SharePoint list template, and as we can see, we only have a few fields to start with. So, while this is a bit of a head start, we'll essentially have to create the majority of the fields we'll eventually need in our list. We can really speed up the process of creating a list, however, by using one of the built-in templates in SharePoint 2010. So let's switch to SharePoint now. Under Site Actions, let's click More Options. Then filter the options by List. And choose one of the templates. In this example, we'll choose Contacts, name the list Vendors, and click Create. Here, with our new Vendors contact list displayed, we can click the List Settings button and view the fields that are automatically included in this list. Editing the list fields here can be a bit tedious. However, with InfoPath 2010 installed, we can modify the list by clicking the Customize Form button on the ribbon. The list is editable here in InfoPath, a much easier place to make our changes. For instance, we can quickly remove unneeded fields in the form by selecting them, right-clicking our selection, and choosing Delete and Rows. Notice the fields are still available in the Fields list on the right. If we like, we can delete them from the list by right-clicking them and choosing Delete. Keep in mind, since our SharePoint list is now open in InfoPath, we can take advantage of the design features and functionality of InfoPath 2010, along with everything we've learned in other clips, to give our list a custom look. Here, we'll add a title and formatting to the top of the list. Then switch to the Page Design tab and update the list's style. There's the style we'll choose. After making our changes, we'll use the Quick Publish option on the Quick Access Toolbar to update the SharePoint list. Publishing was successful, so back in SharePoint, we'll click the Add New Item link to create a new item that, as we can see, is based on our newly updated list design. And that's how easy it is to modify SharePoint lists in InfoPath 2010.